Hey, welcome back to Who Would And this is definitely your butt right here. Shh, wait, wait. Ooh. I'm gonna scratch Domino's butt. We're scratching your butt. Um, anyway. Um, <laughs> so, yep, it's Who Would Win, and it is the week of What If. It is, uh, two, two weeks of What If, not in a row, mind you, because that's just... This will probably kill me in the long run. Uh, I, obviously not literally, just gonna tire me out a bit more than just the normal weeks of <clears throat> but to compensate for the lack of a what if and a who would win week last month i'm going to do two this month and it's what if week this month but first we're starting with the who would win and who would win comes to us from mark strike who asked the question who would win in a fight midnighter or zombie man midnighter from wildstorm universe technically part of the dc universe and zombie man from one punch man now midnighter i've actually knew who midnighter was i had heard about him before he's an openly gay character uh, he's kind of a vigilante, sort of. It's kind of in the essence of Batman, but a little different. Uh, but he's got a lot of battle enhancements. <clears throat> and one of those battle, one of his big things is he's got a effective battle precognition. He's able to predict how a situation will happen before it starts. This allows him to give. This allows him to run through millions of given situations in his mind, instantly covering every possible result before the res, uh, first move is ever made. He uses his information to predict the action and reactions, effectively making him. One of the greatest tacticians, if not the greatest tactician, tactician in the history of mankind. Um, according to Midmiter himself, his powers also work by letting him see the outcome of the battle he wants and working backwards, following the right steps to get there. The ability also works as a supercomputer calculator simulator and grants Midnighter an even further enhanced intellect, memory, deductive, and tactical capabilities. He also has tactical sense, very similar, telescopic vision, enhanced hearing. Uh, fighting implements, including enhanced strength, where he can exert 100 um, uh, kilograms of force with each finger. Again, dismember an opponent with his bare hands and feet. Enhanced speed, he can move faster than the human eye in quick bursts. Enhanced durability, I got a bug in here. Uh, can take a, is nigh indestructible and impenetrable anatomy. Um, excuse me, enhanced reflexes. He can uh, you know, just move and react with microsecond precision. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Uh, survival implements enhanced healing. He has false regeneration from any injury in a short period of time. He's fought and healed from a broken neck, broken limbs, hole in his chest, having his whole body set on fire, contracting various illnesses, including AIDS and other things. I have to believe, though, there's limitations, like taking his entire head off would probably kill him. Um, pain receptor uh, control. He can basically shut off his pain, ner his nerves. Enhanced uh, superhuman immune system, basically keeps off diseases and toxins, things along those lines. Enhanced environmental adaptation, wouldn't matter in this fight. He's got advanced hand-to-hand -hand combat skills, weaponry. He speaks uh, weaponry. He speaks German and apparently operates several types of outdated weaponry, as evidenced by using a World War One artillery while chronologically displaced. Fascinating. Quite adept at stealth. Weaknesses, though, include a vulnerability to psionics. That wouldn't be a factor in this fight. Uh, design drawbacks. His superhuman implants were implemented by a certain... Uh, they Basically, a group could turn off his implements. Uh, inactive opponent. It is revealed that his ability can be defeated if his opponent does not make the first move. If his opponent doesn't make the first move, then, yeah. Unpredictable opponent. If an opponent doesn't even know what they're going to do next, like Joker or Deadpool, um, is... Um, uh, is basically something he can't handle. And, co and competitive reaction time. The, eff the effectiveness or efficiency, uh, efficiency, yeah, efficiency, a Midnighter's ability to read and predict his opponent's enemies is dependent on being able to process probabilities faster than his opponent. If his enemies are only a na single nanosec quicker than him, one contingency ahead of him, the enhancements are rendered useless. Uh, now, that being said, Zombie Man is not that type of character. Zombie Man is a S-class hero with insane regeneration capabilities. Described as being a man that even in death cannot die. One of the best regeneration capabilities in the series <coughs> of One Punch Man. Uh, he can keep moving uh, moving even with his head or even without his head or innards. He is able to heal from his broken arms instantly. He needs only a few minutes to recover from extreme mutilated states and grow his left arm. His generation is so fast that one pure blood bat was unable to escape before he fully healed. 
However, his regeneration does not give him full immortality, as he will die if he's reduced to mincemeat. Virtual Genocide, VGS, simulations show that he is capable of standing an onslaught from Carnage Kabuto and regenerate from just his head. That implies that, that theoretically implies that he can't be killed e with, except by like uh, you're getting rid of his brain. But it says he it, he can he can keep moving without his head or innards. Now I believe that though implies decapitation, not um, not a complete incineration of his head. So I have to believe then. But he has also been shot through his head and he healed that perfectly fine. So. Pretty much, you have to reduce him to mincemeat, pretty much, or just entirely vaporize him. He has measurable endurance, stamina, strength is uh, relatively cap uh, enhanced, uh, hand speed. Uh, uh, he's able to catch bullets, basically. <clears throat> Peak human durability. Uh, uh, so, or should be, uh, despite despite the fact he has a feeble-looking body, he possesses such staying power that he can withstand multiple fatal injuries without kneeling over. Though this is in no uh, way makes him more resilient to an a than an average human. Uh, it also doesn't say he has pain tolerance either. Though enhanced endur endurance is certainly... And stamina certainly lends to the fact he probably has pain, uh, enhanced... Um, excuse me. There we go. Ugh, sorry. Enhanced uh, pain resistance. He's also an expert hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Uh, he doesn't rely on long-range weapons, really. He engages in close-quarters combat. I was saying, when not relying on it. Uh, it shows that he can find a way to kill uh, with a counterattack after he exhausts them. So basically, he's pretty good at finding weaknesses in his own right. He's also price a very skilled swordsmanship. Expert marksman, or at least proficient with mark, uh, weaponry. Uh, equipment, he, carries, he has a trench coat. It carries many of his weapons, including a quick-draw sleeve gun system. Uh, basically... A gun in your sleeve, a Desert Eagle, SNW 500, Revolver, a Beretta, Glock, Long Barreted Axe, Machetes, and a Cigarette Pack. So, if these two met in combat, what is uh, what's the most likely uh, outcome? Midnighter would probably be the more villain-like between the two of them, even though technically neither of these guys are villains, especially not Zombie Man. Uh, Zombie Man is also described as being somewhat nihilistic. Now, that being said, I think Zombie Man wouldn't make, wait for Midnighter to make the first move. He doesn't need... I mean, that being said, also, you could make the argument Zombie Man just rushes in. <clears throat> uh, and uh, even if Zombie Man rushes in, yeah, Midnighter puts him down initially, but Zombie Man gets back up, so maybe just cracks his neck, cracks his body. <laughs> what are you going to do now? And then Zombie Man just blasts him just with a Beretta, with blast him on the Beretta, he has to get out of the way, then he just brings out like a machine gun, just and now Midnighter's got to get out of the way, but he throws it, he's got weapons of his own, so they're going back and forth, right off the bat, the person with the big, uh, greater amount of endurance and regeneration factor is going to have an easier time in this fight, or is going to have an edge in this fight, in a zombie man, where Midnighter's abilities are very, very effective, as far as we can tell, they're nowhere near the level of Zombie Man. Zombie Man, again, pretty much you have to mince him. And Midnighter doesn't have anything that could theoretically mince Zombie Man down to nothing. Or just a pulp. So, ultimately, the fight the fight will just go on for God knows how long. Until Midnighter eventually runs out of steam. And I think he will run out of steam faster than Zombie Man does. Plus, Zombie Man can throw out firearms there to actually hurt um, uh, Midnighter, because Midnighter is kind of nigh invulnerable, not invulnerable. There is a stark difference between the two. So, really, when you get nigh invulnerability versus a gun, kind of self-explanatory there. Ultimately, though, I got I gotta go with Zombie Man. Zombie Man's regeneration, endurance, and durability are just going to outlast far longer than Midnight's ability to predict whatever he can do. Because the fight, he'll put Zombie Man on the ground and end the fight. But he will still ultimately, it, it still ultimately doesn't matter because Zombie Man will just keep getting back up. Unless Midnighter, unless they're in some area that has like a machine, like a freaking, um, like a glass, uh, glass, um, um, uh, glass churner or whatever, what is it called? It, it's something that breaks down glass or a meat grind or something like that. Unless that he's got some, unless there's an area like that, in which case I would give Midnighter the ability to win, not the, 
majority, but maybe a 10%. Man, no, you know, I'll even give him a 20% chance if there's something available in the area that allows him to mince down Zombie Man to a pulp. I'll give him a solid 20%. Otherwise, it's going to be Zombie Man who wins the fight because uh, Midnighter just can't put Zombie Man down for good. So ultimately, I got to go with Midnighter, uh, Zombie Man in this fight. Who do you think it is? Do you think it's Midnighter? Do you think, do you, th let me put this, let me rephrase this. Do you think there's a legitimate way that Midnighter can beat Zombie Man? Uh, well, let me know in the comments below. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. As always, if you want us to review something, put in the comments below. Let me know. I'll get to it at some point. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll be back for What If.